Hello everybody, welcome back to Armorware HQ. I'm Robert Scott. And I'm Gabe Cabrera. Uh, uh, I, I was noticing while we're getting started here, you got something pretty sexy going on over you, there. You like, what, you like? What, what do you got on there? This is the new Spark Carrier. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the special purpose applications releasable carrier you were talking about that all week, exactly wouldn't let me get is. to emails, wouldn't let me do anything? <laughs> yes. Okay, all right, so that's the one. All right, tell me about it. Well, it's uh, it's a carrier that I think hits all the all the needs of a operator, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's got your built-in rifle slings here. You can cut them off if you're lefty or righty. Choose which one. Underneath that, it's got your tabs to run a placard, so you can have a um, a drop female buckle here uh, that can connect the placard. It's got a uh, Velcro loop here that will adhere the placard uh, to your body. So by placards, you're talking about like the, the Haley Strategic, yeah. D, D, I think D3CR or something like that. Uh, you also have some uh, from uh, these LBT, folks. I LBT, think, yeah, LBX. Yeah. Almost so everybody's making a placard now. So it's, cool. it's, it's great, you can create your loadout and then you can apply it to this carrier. So um, what's 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 going on over here? What's this little, little That's your Oh <laughs> shit. That was quick. <laughs> I see a lot of Tom fuckery going on at the range. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that's So that's the main point of the carrier. That that's is the, that is the main purpose of the carrier. Uh, it is a lever system that's patented that releases all four buckles at the same time. So I'm going to pull it up here so you guys can yeah. see. It's real cool. And then this is what holds the module in place. All yeah, right. so We're going to pull, pull that out just out. a little bit so you guys can see the umbilical system. This part is really cool, man. I, I, I've played around with a bit of the like the the releasable systems that a lot of the folks in SOF and all these guys have been using for a while. And i, I got to be honest, uh, for what it was and when there was nothing else out there, very innovative. I will always give props where props are due, but again, uh, that's the thing about this industry. We innovate, we come out with new stuff. This by far, uh, a lot lighter. Uh, not that much of a pain in the ass to put back together. Robert, yep. can you show us how you put it back together? Yeah, that's, it, that's the main selling point for me. Yeah, it'll go it'll go back together in less than in less than thirty seconds. So you can and those are the same buckles that you would normally use to adjust the carrier anyway. That's a QRB system, quick release buckle system. Yep. And as you're going to notice, uh, as, as he brings it up here on the cummerbund on the inside, you can see the cable going down the middle of the buckles. Now when you pull this quick release latch here on the top, you're going to notice that it collapses the buckles. Yep. So go ahead and pull on that buckle. As soon as I do this, they come out. Very innovative. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, it's the same buckles that we've relied on for years in duty belts, backpacks, you know, rigs, uh, chest carriers or play carriers. Uh, nothing has changed there. It's just the way that it falls apart. Yep. I think this is extremely beneficial for folks that are out in the field that get injured, need Man down, emergency yep. emergency medicine. Um, or if you're bunkered up, we uh, we had a lot of customers, uh, Navy SEAL Sniper in particular, uh, that we were speaking to uh, that loves the releasable carriers because uh, he says if his if his position is compromised and he needs to get out, mm -hmm. he'll he'll release it the carrier okay. and, and and he's a lot he's a lot more mobile at that point. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of different reasons, not just for if you fall in water and you need to get your get out of your carrier. That's you which know. I, I think unfortunately <clears throat> uh, maybe it's one of the main reasons why it was designed at the time. But I feel like the folks that came out with that concept of just a maritime yeah. carrier almost uh, encapsulated that that product within that small realm. So I'm glad you brought those those different points of view up because there's more than just one reason to release a carrier. Yeah. Of course, man down drills, yep. like you were talking about for a quick exfil, you know, an E&E &E plan, obviously maritime operations, uh, vehicle ops, you get snagged up. Uh, insert your scenario here, right? Mm, Everyone's right. scenario is going to be different. Everyone has a different operation. Everybody has a different mission right. role. Um, the thing about this <clears throat> carrier is that it's going to meet 
you head on, and it's also going to exceed the goals that you set for, for what your gear has to be. So let's turn this around. I know there's more options here in the back, Yeah, Robert. so uh, what we did was, uh, you see here, uh, I, we didn't want to put, uh, for law enforcement, mall, our, uh, Velcro loop on the back. Um, so what we did was, we put an extra flap here that you can then stuff on the inside of the back back plate pocket, and then you would have your your loop for your for your badge. You know, agent, federal, police, whatever it is you wanted to put there. If you're not, folds over nice, and it's nice and clean. And that's where the plate goes in through. Yeah, so the back so plate. So it's a top load. The, the, the back plate is a top load. I, I personally, I love that. I mean, gravity is something that we can all relate to. It doesn't it, it transcends all language barriers, right? Gravity. Yep. It's going to pull you down. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the <coughs> plate carriers that I've seen that have the, the, the opening on the bottom, things are going to happen. You're going to get snagged up. It might rip that pouch open. Your carrier is going to go slam into the ground. Whether the structural integrity of the carrier is in one piece or not, that's irrelevant. The point that now you've been hindered in whatever, whatever you were doing is, is the part that would mess me up personally. Yeah. Uh, great idea, uh, I think. Um, and then right here, these... Uh, Quick release buckles in the front. Go ahead and pull that one up if you don't mind. Another thing that I'm just dead tired of is every time you want to don or doff your carrier is the telltale sign that you're doing it. Uh, whether you're in the same room with somebody or you're outside of a house, I mean, you can hear that. Yeah. And Velcro, what's the half half life on Velcro? Five hundred pulls uh, is like diminished twenty five percent, and then a thousand pulls is uh, like. 40, 50 percent, something like that. So all you have to be is an avid trainer and you've worn out yeah. that part of your carrier. Right. Which just doesn't make sense to me. On certain yep. points like these, okay, because I'm not going to release this carrier every time, okay? Yeah. So it's a way for me to access this point without putting some big buckle here on the shoulder that's going to, you know, kind of compromise my my uh, my cheek weld with my rifle. You know, you can still center peck with this. This is another good good point. You know, the the release system is nice and high to the chest to where it still allows you both sides so you can get a good center pack with your carbine, submachine gun, whatever you're running. Um, and the motion is down. Exactly, gravity, our so best friend. It, a lot of the other carriers, you gotta, you gotta pull up or you gotta pull away. Um, or, or it's here by the side, you yeah. know, which again, a seat belt can really just up and a lot of them are still a two point uh, uh, a two step system though to get out of the carrier yeah even the, you know releasing the cummerbunds and then you have to releasing the top buckle oh. and then you're out so that, you know, that just doesn't it, make sense. nothing's as quick as this this is all four buckles all at the same time in a blink of an eye yeah I, mean, I, I can't say enough good things about it I know it's easy to appreciate your own work but uh, as far as just hitting all of them on point you still have tons of Molly real estate on the sides. Uh, you can upgrade this carrier to soft armor as well as hard armor if you're yep. going up to an extra level. A lot of uh, SWAT teams run that way. There's some folks who just want to run real light and they just throw the plates in and they're good to go. As and the uh, force multiplier. Have your favorite. The uh, Molly sticks. The Molly sticks. I love that. So for course adjustments of your cummerbund, you've got you've got Molly sticks here that you can adjust. And just weave them through like you would any pouch. A exactly. So you just weave it, weave it through like this, and you're able to uh, cinch up your your cummerbund with a course correction here, and then on the front you've got your fine tuning correction on on the buckle there. That's I I, I like that. I mean, um, as far as preferences on how you wear a carrier, how it hangs off of you. This is one of the more adaptable ones that I've seen, and it hits on all the points that would make sense to the average shooter, operator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the the best thing about this carrier is just throwing it on, taking it off, setting it, and forgetting it. There's no real long-term uh, things you have to worry about. Um, I'm I'm real excited about this one, Robert. I, yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely uh, definitely a, another game changer for armor wear. Uh, in this uh, in this plate carrier, um, and the price is, uh, is is pretty nice too. It it, it falls I think in line with um, some of the other carriers that don't have a releasable system as as um, and, you know as nice as this one, uh, but it's still in that price range. 
Okay, so so what is that MSRP? $295 is the MSRP of this carrier. Uh, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of popular uh, systems <coughs> out there right now that are not releasable at all. Uh, yep. You might not need the releasable capability, but at least you know it's there and still under the price point of competitors' products, which are not as versatile as this one. Um, I, I think it's uh, safe to say that this one hits on all cylinders, folks. And uh, Okay, so um, there you have it, the Spark Carrier, uh, available now. Uh, stay tuned for uh, T&E from a lot of other uh, people on YouTube and, uh, and social media. We're going to be sending this carrier out to, uh, to them so they can, uh, they can evaluate it and uh, give us their feedback. Outstanding. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys are as well. Remember, you're coming from Armorware HQ, and stay tuned for some more uh, products that we're about to launch here yep. pretty damn soon. And be safe.